Fuck, what if I'm too... What's up, Flubby? I need to sign skins for Valve or for CSGO, for example. Well, CSGO, it's really just masks. So you, you have your textures, right? Of like uh, fabric or metal or camo or whatever the hell they're using. And then you use a mask that it's uh, black and white and you tell it where you want that to show up on the on the weapon. So I don't know how many you can have. I've never tried making one, but I know how it works. So you use different masks to tell it where you want those textures to show up. But So you're not really texturing, you're just kind of like masking and telling it where to put uh, a panning texture. Uh, that's all that, that happens with CSGO skins. They're really materials. <laughs> That's kinda creepy as right before. You better have the huge fucking mane or beard. You guys are the Mediterranean in? Oh shit. I don't know if that's ours. I think ours is on the north western corner of the Colosseum. Oh dear god. Oh dear god. What's up DJ? <laughs> Very Star Wars of you, Serena 4. Everybody loses a limb. I'm surprised when chop off Starkiller's hand or something. Just crush them under a fucking ship. Actually, no, I think we reconstructed his hand a little bit when he wakes up in the... Uh, in the medical ship. Where Vader fucks him up. The first time. Let's unhide this rest of the shit. It looks pretty okay. Do you think it'd be easy for you to create a skin for CSGO? Uh, it's gonna be the easiest thing you'll be able to create for a Dota, for a Valve game. Out of anything out there. So yeah man, I'm sure there's tutorials on how to do it too. How to make those masks. What am I rooting for to win TI5? Oh man, I can't I can't say one team. I have friends in a lot of teams. Alright Chadwick. Yeah, hit us up when you're back, man. We'll give you another shout out. No problem, dude. No problem, Flabby. Thank you. Alright, let's finesse this guy's a little bit. Uh, I guess we should hide this again. Oh my god! 
Wrong there. Hmm, I don't want to subdivide again. If we can pull this off. Okay. Right. <laughs> I know. Probably she can throw up on his face. What's he even fucking talking about? No oh, heaven and hell and Star Wars. I was talking about angels from some planet or some shit. Like, what the fuck is this kid on? It's that blue milk laced with, man. What's up, Sevenfold? I'm not sure how to pronounce the beginning part of your name, so I skipped it. Pro tip. Use the easiest part on confusing names. Lobby, you get a percentage from the sales. There you go, word has got you. Ranifor's got a thing for the Shaq T, man. Dude, uh, one of our friends' friend uh, cosplayed Shaq T at Celebration. She looked really good. Yeah, yeah. I think Saranifor would have been stuck in her instead of me at that point. <laughs> what, with that chloroform rag? <laughs> Trying to run away with her tentacles. She's too nice, she probably wouldn't even run away. We must warn her. <laughs> uh, he's probably used to paying, paying extra for that kind of treatment. Oh shit, too close. Really? Is there picks? <laughs> How did I know that was the next question? Uh, I can just show it on screen real quick. Where is she? might be my friend. Puppies. Shakti, Shakti. Uh, this better one. I don't remember seeing her. Is this from after? Where is the celebration? Maybe it's an album. Uh. Martha. Maybe it was other people's photos.
Yeah, I guess. This is about to suffice for Siren 4. So there's that. And there's her in the Cantina replica. No, this is the Oh no, this is fast. Oh, All this other stuff is here. Oh wait, that's her. He must have not. He must have not posted it up though. Mobile. Just kept playing the rebels. You see that? Kill the sharks though. Yeah. It's alright. Kill them. Okay. Anyways, here's her getting killed by our buddy Brandon, Star Killer. Sarah so can die now. Find them later, just show me the link. I'll show I'll show them later. Another you got it? Okay. Alright, where were we in this thing? Get back to work. Hello, new Karuko. What up? Manny tries to redirect the stalkers. <laughs> pro! Pro at it, man. No man, the, the, our friends are like crazy good cosplayers. <laughs> Actually, a few of them do it professionally. They do parties and stuff. Get back to work, man. <laughs> Did you post that before I said it? Just might have. I was gonna show you, uh, Pink Ninja's robe. What? Did you robe on on that picture? Oh, it's a dress! That's right. It was the, uh, yes, it was <laughs> the titty dress. Now they're really gonna ask for it. <laughs> You've done it to yourself. A bit of scratching here and there. Why the hell not? Wow. Probably save our shit, huh? Yeah, let's save it. Work is overrated. More cosplay fix, please. <laughs> Thank you. 
Right, son? Yeah, man, they're... They're pretty serious about it. Super cool. I mean, in the work. Oh, totally. It's his job, yeah, absolutely. You guys should see, you know, if you guys saw that Star Killer that was uh, killing Shakti, uh, he does the best Jack Sparrow uh, impersonation ever. And his his costume's amazing. Yeah, he got a uh, well. Uh, he got hired to uh, work the red carpet for the one of the premieres of uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean. And uh, Johnny Depp actually handpicked him to uh, to be that that person. Pretty neat. Right now he's working on a costume for uh, Rebels. Alright, that bottom part is good to go. Do I have enough scratches up here? No, let's have some scratches. Uh, maybe a little bit of a chip for one of these guys. With the Did you open that by yourself? <laughs> That's so, I'm never able to open that. Swigs. Our last bottle, make it last. And uh, I have to. Alright, if you keep saying it, it's gonna come true. <laughs> Is that how it works? Alright, robe. I don't know, I think we can call the robe done? Yeah? Maybe a couple of slashes up here, maybe? is good to go. Pretty alright. <laughs> A stupid car commercial was on with uh, Matthew McConaughey. I don't even know what the car commercial is. What is it? Lexus or some shit? Acura uh, Lincoln's? I don't know if you guys have seen this commercial, but it's the most... What's the word?
Ah, I had the word. Ah, uh, what is it? Where'd you throw over there? Oh, did it now? I don't know, man. It's so fake. What the fucking shit he's talking about? And I think he's like talking about like not being about that, you know, about believing or thinking you're you're whatever you're somebody else. And he just comes off as completely pompous. I can't stand that commercial. God damn it, Matthew. We hate that commercial here. What? You hate it! Fuck. <laughs> Interstellar, the car. <laughs> Dude, I actually like Interstellar. Like, I don't hate Matthew McConaughey, but I fucking detest him in that commercial. Hey, Stefan, what's up, man? Welcome back. Jim Carrey did a good impression of it on Saturday Night Live. Oh, no way! I gotta look that up. Hello, Farn. You've been dealt the wrong hand. Can't imagine how you feel. Only you know that it's real. Don't look back, just carry on. Interstellar, good movie. Bad car. <laughs> you say that just to piss me off. I'm on to you. Okay. That item is down. My cover is seven thirty-seven. Oh, cool! You're trying out Substance Designer. Very cool, man. Tough to get into, huh? Yeah, I can see that. It's very uh, settings oriented, I'm sure. Okay, so the other two items is his barrel, and I guess part of the back item is his little chin thing here. This metal plate that we're gonna do, so let's just knock that out of the way. Is this part of the ice right now? Oh shit, they did come in together. Why are the ice and that item? They should not be together, I don't think. Because the ice are actually part of the cumber bond. That's actually pretty weird. Oh well, I mean, when we bake it out, we, just <laughs> we can just ignore this. No big deal. Introducing the new Lexus 2016 Murph Edition. Yeah, the settings are oriented procedural textures, but it's fun. Yep, 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 yep. I know. It looks like a cool app, though. But it's more for higher fidelity models, I feel. And a lot more metallic stuff, for sure. Or at least that's where it shines. No pun intended. Just that, okay. I just throw a quick little design on it. I 
make that nice and round first. I just had everything. the hell on point with the chest <laughs> uh, I didn't even mean to do that one man there needs to be a slot for Brew for his ultimate. Yeah, dude, that'd be amazing, but at the same time, oh my god, how much work would that be? Holy shit. I mean, it's not just coloring them differently, even if you made, like, a completely new bear. You can just color, color them differently, like, they're all separate models, right? That'd be a, f a shit ton of work. Good lord. Water on it, like puddles of water, and yeah, I mean, you can use like a 3D painter to just manually paint that stuff yourself. But I mean, yeah, if Substance does it for you, then yeah, it's super, it's a huge time saver, no doubt. Right, Macabre? <laughs> Uh, well, for low poly and mid poly modeling, you're fine with a mouse, but whenever you get into high poly sculpting, uh, a tablet is uh, highly desired, man. Like, it's gonna speed you up a lot. So, yeah, I, I would suggest definitely getting a tablet for ZBrush and Mudbox sculpting. Mostly because of the pressure, you know, for your brushes. You'll find the same thing for Photoshop. You don't get the pressure with a mouse. Makes a big difference in when you're painting things, density, transparency, things like that. Kansas City to cast a LAN tournament for Dota 2 Surround of You know, Substance Painter and Substance Designer were two different programs. Uh, yeah, and then they have like another three different programs, right? I mean, they have like this. <laughs> a line of uh, applications. No, I can't remember if I married this or not. Let's just take a quick look. Yeah, that looks married. How's the other one? Oh, oh shit! It's not mirrored. <laughs> well, that's a good thing we checked. All right. So all unique, you say? All right. What do we do? Oh, uh, we need no solution. Uh, 
Uh, that's still not enough polygons, damn it. This one should do it. Ah, uh, you don't see the back side. Formation. Inflate balloon. Uh, what's usually a good number? What? Seven? Is he seven? Oh my god! Fuck, seriously? Yeah, that they go. Let's try something else. Touchy. Alright, that'll do. Problem called bitmap two material that takes your bitmaps and turns them into normal spec and other maps that I don't think they have. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. I've seen that too. Hey, what's up, people? Hide. How are you? Hey, Tina. Welcome back. Uh, I have not worked on Dendi set yet. We've been working away on uh, this brewmaster. Oh shit. Uh, I forget what the hell we're gonna put on this middle part. What the hell? Simple stuff. Wrong angle. Oh, that's right, it's showing the underneath, that's okay. It's okay. I know what's going on there. Alright. Just continue the little bolts, kind of 
the sign that we had on the plates. All that stuff makes sense. Backstone. Oh, right, the cloth piece. Forgot about this guy. Save our work. Dota 2 stream English. What's up? <laughs> How are you doing? Is Blender good for starting to learn modeling? Yes, Sir Tolan. It can do an array of things, and the best thing about it is that it's free. Alright guys, let's take a short break. When we come back, we'll finish the cloth on the back, and we'll get started on the barrel, perhaps. Don't go away, guys. Be right back.
All right, let's let's see what. Oh yeah, the cloth. Let's continue on, finish this guy off, and we'll move on to the barrel. And that'll be everything done in Seabrush for our Brewmaster set. Oh. Let's keep it going. I'm actually going a little bit earlier to uh, to Seattle, just a couple of days before the event. Stay with uh, our buddy Macbeth, in for a little bit, and then uh, head over to our hotel right across the the stadium. Should be good times. Uh, this both of these guys. I think these guys are married. Let me double check. 
Oh, no, they're separate. There's one. Oh, they're just cut in half. Okay. Unique. That's awesome. How many polygons we got on here already? What the hell? I think too many. A little rough to sculpt in this part. Let's go lower in subdivision. Eleven forty six. Lots to go here at the lab workshop. After hours. What? <laughs> really? All right. Well, I'll be up for a while then. All right. All right. If you have to. Oh, who do we got? Lionel time, what up? Oh, messy time? Right on, dude. One of my favorite players. I was I, I wasn't able to watch, but I watched the highlights. I forgot to open my beer. Kinda hard to do with a paneer here. <laughs> oh. Bios, what's up? You okay? Uh, oh shit! Chadwick also had uh, some steak tacos. Damn. Were they spicy though? Ours had this amazing, like, they already marinated and stuff. So good.
Wait, what is that? Oh, alright. Let's move this guy out. Is that's mirrored or not? I don't think it is. I think just the side is mirrored actually. Spent too much time in the studio, no time to cook. Oh man, can definitely relate to that shit. Oh, I mean back in when I was working in the studio, I would actually yeah, I would order in my dinner, which was actually paid by the studio, which was great. Actually, it's funny. They sent me a check for one that they made that they didn't pay me back because you know we're like you know closed down by that point. So I have a I have a check from Lucasfilm for my dinner one night, like nineteen dollars. Like I'm not gonna check this in. I just keep the check. Tribal Fury Bloodseeker set? Huh. Well, why don't you open it, man? I mean, I don't hold your breath for hours. You know, we're gonna try to push it in for the live workshop chest. But if it doesn't get in for that, we'll try editing it. You know, if there's some feedback that it requires or whatever. So, yeah, I don't know. It might take. I mean, at least for when we push for the chest, it might be in there. So, that is still gonna be after TI. So, I say, might as well open up your. You're set, man, if you're a Bloodseeker player. Start playing with that other one, I'm sure it's pretty cool. You're laughing pretty good when I was talking about sleeping at the studio. Oh my god. Yeah, when was that? I was I think I was telling you guys how I like I slept on anything and everything at the studio. Couch. Yeah, the couches are good, but uh, in in my particular studio, well, not at Lucas, uh, and, uh, the studio before that, uh, Digital Extremes, the couches were like right by the front entrance. So it sucked because you know the people, the people that got there early in the morning, they would just kind of like walk in and wake you up every time. So I had to like start finding other spots to sleep in at the studio, and that's where all the other spots happened. Yeah, it got pretty ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I got you, FHI. All right.
then down here we'll probably maybe cut this down a bit with maybe some alpha mask or something make it a little more interesting let's just go ahead and actually just cut it with some polygons and we'll figure out what we do once we have this whole big down Photoshop there we go in this direction Bit of a curveball And this will make out like a mess or whatever, but you know, we'll know that that will be uh, the alpha section of the texture. It's a little more interesting than just, you know, straight into the flat. Yeah. Maybe we add a little bit of a trend in here too. Let's make it thinner. just a little bit Magna Tusk and Le Shrek. I think Le Shrek just got a new item slot added to him, a weapon slot. Must be with some immortal coming his way, huh? Abyss told me about that uh, last night, I think, or a couple nights ago. I don't know. Some point. Hey, what's up, daughter?
<laughs> you didn't know either. Oh shit. Well, you still didn't know. Whatever. You didn't say anything, you just waved. How am I supposed to? That was good. Ran out this part of his a little bow or whatever, holding uh, his strings in the back. Well, these are brand new. Uh, he only has, I think, what one in the front. I forget. Let me just take a quick look. He has. Oh yeah, he's got two in the front. So I I forget if this ones actually have bones that animate in game. But we created new ones for the back that uh, animate with physics bones. And uh, yeah, they, they add a lot of motion behind them. Looks great. Catching up. Catching up. What the? I'm good, man. Just having a beer and sculpting away like crazy tonight. We'll still have to do the barrel. Oh my god. Hey, that's a good thing, Dart. Oh, uh, we'll try and get to that, is that? Not bad. Not bad. Oh, thank you, Dota. The chainmail? No, it wasn't used for the sculpt at all. Uh, enemy set up the rings himself, and I just grabbed them and I just uh, kind of just pushed them in. But he did he did all the the, the chainmail setup.
Kitchen. stuff out almost done with this piece and we can do the cool barrel be way more exciting I promise need a chainmail tutorial never done chainmail zero Well, we're gonna finish all our four sets for the 26th. So we're jumping across all of them at the same time. Not yet, Fury. Everybody's missed it. We haven't been able to jump to it. <laughs> we're, we're doing a lot on this Brewmaster right now. Do I know anything about the second Immortal Treasure? Uh, nope, not officially, man. We just know a bunch of the heroes that have like new slots added to them that didn't have them before. But you can find that information anywhere. Alright, let's cut up this other side too. Play. And uh, which way do we cut it? Hmm. Oh hell, let's just experiment. See what looks good. Yeah, out to the stream. <laughs> that was kind of cool, maybe. Uh, maybe the other side's a little too similar now. God damn it.
changing. I always rearranging. Always rearranging. Always rearranging. That is constantly changing. I always rearranging. Always rearranging. Always rearranging. And this ugly broken section will be our alpha mask. And spare it. Seating game, so this little cut looks all, all fancy. That should work pretty good, I think. Alright. Hey, you say Peter? Stalker Arcana, all this Shrek would be nice. Morphling? Hmm. I would like a Zeus Arcana. Just to change them as much as possible. What happened to the Bulldog Slow and Druid set? We're still waiting for it, man. Valve's still making some tools to make it easier for the set to be imported into the game. So it's, it's still on hold. But yeah, I mean, if you guys throw boats at it, maybe you know, oh, oh, wow, more people want it in game sooner. All right, all looks good. So good to go. We'll save this as a C. Nice. Did we miss anything? No, oh, looks pretty right. All these dudes up the holes for the laces, cloth in the back, leather, bolts. Frames, beard clasp, arms are already done, they're just not in this file, the weapon is done, yeah it's just the barrel I believe. Uh, yeah, I guess Kaluti. I don't think he's... He should should probably do that, actually. <laughs> I'll talk to him. I'll send. Him, I'll talk to him on Skype and get him to do it, maybe. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. I know, right, Polly?
Double checking this guy. Quality control. I think it hits everything. Technical difference between a normal set and an Arcana? Uh, well, not only are the... I mean, uh, Arcanas are, have just been done by Valve so far. And they usually do go all out with this, with new special effects and ambient effects for the characters, as, you know, including it like a spell effect usually. And they also replace either the skin of the default body or they have a whole new default body as well. So it's, it's quite drastic. And new uh, hero icons as well, yeah. And mini map head icon. Where thug. Alright, this looks good. I don't know if I did anything else, I'm just gonna receive it again. Uh, let's load up the weapon, take a look at that real quick. People that haven't seen it. There we go. So there's the staff. It's missing the mirror. Actually, I think they're in here, but I just have them hidden. Yeah, there they go. So uh, this particular layer, it doesn't have any sculpting on it because it's gonna be mirrored on the texture. So I only did the detail on one of these dudes that they get gets then transferred over to the other the other guys. And this guy's here. And the two chain links get mirrored from this top chain link. Well that's why those look kinda crappy. And we sculpted the the wood on the staff with some little metal pieces there in the middle to make it a little more interesting. And then this chain actually attaches to this top part of our mug and it balances out kind of like this. That's why the angle of the ale is right there. And then uh, Abyss is making some awesome effects for the, the ale head to be fussing out and then some ale to be sp splashing and falling out of the kapua as well. He walks around and right clicks and all that stuff. Probably again is if you scroll down a little bit, you see that uh, there's a blue button with the word yes on it to the right side. If you click on that, it'll take you straight to the place you're asking about. <laughs> So I wish I could just grab this and scale it up <laughs> and use that as a starting point for our barrel. Oh, I don't want to paint these things again, but I think I'm going to have to. Let's see, what's the top of the barrel? Oh no, we can't use that. That'd be so sweet. This is way bigger, I guess. Mm. Oh, I don't know. What is it, 1220 right now? What do we do? You're welcome, man. <laughs> 